Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another toy room review. Today, we're taking a look for the second time at the NECA Little Big Planet uh, Kratos Sackboy uh, by NECA. Uh, so, if you saw my last video, or not my last video, but my last video about this specific uh, toy, uh, I was recording it and then my camera just reset itself and I lost all my footage. Uh, but I got a couple people saying they still want to see a review on it. So I'm going to do it again anyways for you guys. So as you can see, I already unboxed them and everything. So we skipped that whole portion. But we'll still take a look at the packaging here. So it comes in that open clamshell packaging that we get from NECA. The figure was fully displayed here. Down here you got an image of a sack boy. Um, which for whatever reason is not the Kratos one, which is really weird. But you got the Kratos sack boy right there. And this whole cardboard theme throughout the entire packaging, which is really nice. Then up here you see it says Little Big Planet along with the official licensed product of uh, Sony or PlayStation. And then back here you see the other figures from this wave, which I wanted to get all of them. Uh, but, you know, if I had to choose one, which I did just because of money, uh, definitely went with Kratos there. But the others are really, really cool. So really like those. And then you get a random uh, sack boy here. It kind of looks like Link uh, from Zelda. You get all that there, and then Kratos, Sackboy, Little Big Planet. So that's the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. All right, so here's the figure. Really, really, really nice figure. We'll take a look at his accessories as you see. Alright, so first we'll take a look at his accessories. He comes with his signature blades, which are done in this really nice kind of gold, uh, shiny gold material with this like black and brown kind of sticker looking. Not sure if it's a sticker or if that's actually painted detail, uh, but you got that with the nice brown handles uh, right there. So that's really nice. And you got the other one as well. They're both identical. Both uh, have really nice details in them, so I really like these. And then he also comes with a little holster. On his back that you can uh, store them in like so you just kind of fit them over each other like that and then it clips onto his back with this little peg here and the peg in his back there so that's really nice that you get that feature it just clips in like so and then you got that right there this figure is very top heavy so um, kind of holding him up here uh, but you get that All right, now getting into this figure, first we'll take a look at the head sculpt. You can see this really, really nice detail in here that makes it look actually like a hacky sack or like hack, uh, hacky sack material. Uh, so you get this really cool thing going all the way throughout, so that's really nice. I really like that. And you get the black here on the eyes with the signature red marking that Kratos has from the God of War video game, along with the black goatee. You got the little frowny face, and you got these like stitchings or staples in his head. And then that red kind of goes all the way through, all the way to the back of the head here, all the way to the back along the chest, as it should. So it is very accurate to the video game. And then coming down here to the arms, you get the nice gold with uh, like armor pieces with the silver chains, which is done in really nice metallic paint. And then come in here, you got the zipper on the chest area right there with a um, the little zipper piece right there. I forget what this is called, but you get that. And it is a separate piece, but it is a soft plastic material, so this is not a functioning zipper or anything like that. And then more chains along here, and then coming down to the skirt piece, you get these nice gold details and designs on this brown skirt piece. It is a separate material, but it's a very hard plastic, so um, you can't really move it, but it doesn't really hinder any articulation. And coming to the back, you just got more design here, that peg hole right there. And then the legs, you got this nice like shading, so it goes from like a gray to a darker 
a darker gray right there, which is really nice. And now as far as articulation, it's pretty basic. His head can fully rotate, can't really look down just a little bit. He could look up quite a bit. Not really, you get a little bit of neck pivot, uh, not much. It's on a ball joint, and then same as the shoulders. So you see right there, so you, they're on ball joints, so you can move them out that much. You can't do a full 360 because his head is so big, uh, but you get that kind of movement there. So you got the whole rotation. Uh, no swivels or bends at the elbows or the wrist or anything. No waist articulation. You do get the legs that are on ball joints, so you can kind of rotate them, move them back and forth and in and out. And uh, you get one peg hole at the bottom of the feet. And you even get some nice um, texture detail right there at the bottom of the feet as well, which is really, really nice. Stand up just a little tad. Okay. All right, and here is the figure holding the accessories. The hands are very stiff. Uh, you don't really get any opening or closing action out of them, so you kind of have to wedge the swords in there or the blades. Um, and it, it's really hard to get in, but once they're in there, they're secure. They're not going anywhere. Uh, so as you can see here, I'll shake this figure around and those swords are not going anywhere So that's really nice. It's just a pain getting them in and out of his hand But they are secure so I do like that and overall I think NECA did a really really great job with this figure He is very top heavy, uh, but if you mess around with them, you can get him to stand just fine But overall a great figure. I like the texture detail that they put into the skin I think that's really really cool and just all the little, you know, nice paint apps and, and everything. The only issue I have with him is the standing. Uh, it would have been nice if he came with some kind of base or something. Because his head is pretty big in that little Big Planet style. Um, so you have that issue. But other than that, a really great figure. Highly recommend this, as well as the other ones from this wave. Uh, but anyways, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys wanted to see this video. Um, I'll leave a link down below if you didn't see it, my fail of a review. I'll leave that down in the description. But anyways, if you did like this video, uh, be sure to subscribe, comment, like, all that. We reached 200 subscribers today, so thank you to everyone who is already subscribed. And to all my new subscribers, welcome. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you guys next time.